These were the scenes at the Malaba and Isebania border points in western Kenya, respectively. Hundreds of those seeking to enter the country were subjected to thorough screening as health officials scaled up surveillance at the border points. Dr. Samuel Juma, a cross-border disease surveillance coordinator and his counterpart at the Malaba border, say travelers from Burundi, Rwanda, Tanzania and Congo form the majority of foreigners who frequent the country for business. And those are the individuals being screened to ascertain their origin and if they have had any contacts with Kasese district in western Uganda where two deaths have been reported or Dr. Congo, the epicenter of the Ebola disease. So they are all detailed here. Or if they are from DRC, we are going to know the particular. Not only because DRC is a large country, but we must know the particular place that the traveler is mm -hmm. coming from. Each and every person who is coming in, we are screening to ensure that uh, the temperatures are within the normal temperature, but anyone that will get is above 38, automatically will have to hold that person in their wards and then awaiting transportation to the Malaba dispensary for quarantine and management. And so far we've gotten three people from DRC, but their temperatures were normal. Truck drivers plying along the northern corridor towards the Great Lake region have not been spared either. The long queues here an indication of an intensified surveillance. The drivers say they are observing some of the preventive measures such as refraining from shaking hands. However, locals fear that travelers who do not pass through the official immigration points were a risk to the country. But something should be done. The Senate Health Committee has in the meantime asked the Ministry of Health to deploy more officers and resources to the border points to ensure Kenya is kept Ebola free. And that, uh, though thankfully uh, the, the tests on the patient turned out negative, but a person displaying such symptoms, being able to cross through our boundary, our borders, shows a big, big, big problem. Uh, uh, problem with our surveillance in the, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a country. This is Ebola now. We have other conditions that are also being controlled with the, our nation. And so we are saying, as my colleagues are saying, we are just saying that money needs to be released to the counties to equip them with quality health care that we need, especially at primary, primary uh, entities. Thank you. Kamche Menza, Channel 1 News.